Now is Lawrence Lewiton, Managing Markets Editor at Coindesk, and our own Kate Rooney as well. Kate, we'll get to your story in just a second. Lawrence, I want to follow up with you. What in the world sure. is going on with Bitcoin? I know it's off its lows and the other cryptos. Why did they get just out of the blue, get smacked so hard today? Well, you know, we have a, a whole bunch of issues involved. Uh, of course, uh, Maynard's uh, comments didn't help. Uh, but, you know, we, we also have the dollar was stronger. It's, it's hitting a two-week high. If you look at the uh, dollar index, we had miners were selling. And, and so, well, let's just get back to the dollar index. The dollar index rising, of course, that makes Bitcoin cheaper. Um, there are higher interest rates. That, again, uh, also hurts Bitcoin uh, with the theory that Bitcoin is an inflation hedge. We had miners that were selling Bitcoin. And we're also looking at profit taking. We're seeing incredible amounts of volume on the CME. CME is a, an exchange, a futures exchange that the uh, institutions like to use. So um, that's pretty much it. It's a lot of profit taking today. Yeah. W Lawrence, one more quick one to you before we go to Kate. Are you hearing anything about, about Coinbase or other exchanges being down, getting yeah. some people hitting me up on social media saying, I'm having some issues here, but mm -hmm. what are you hearing? Yeah, Coinbase had said something um, that, of course, uh, is affecting potentially some of the indices that are that are based off of uh, Coinbase because there's a something like a three hundred fifty dollar differential between what Coinbase publishes uh, in its price at the moment or as it did a few minutes ago and uh, what the rest of the market was showing that that affects the mm -hmm. futures markets because that that's how they that's how they uh, price. Um, but you know this happens a lot in crypto when there's a he when there's heavy amounts of volume. Sites like big, uh, like uh, Coinbase and some of the other uh, uh, exchanges always have trouble for some reason. It's either they're not ready for prime time or um, they just can't handle the massive amounts of volume, no matter what. Well, that volume certainly has picked up. Lawrence Lewiston of CoinDesk. Lawrence, thank you very much. Now let's turn to Kate Rooney and. Yeah. You know, Kate, listen, even with today's drop in Bitcoin, it started the year or at one point in the year was at 4,200. So it has been red hot. But Kate, it's not just been the coin, has it? It's been kind of anything crypto, Bitcoin, blockchain related has been getting bought up. And that's seen as a sign as sort of this retail exuberance returning. We saw in December, if you look at Google Trends, uh, searches for Bitcoin and blockchain are now way up. And the story really last year was the institutional investor getting in and Google searches weren't as high. But we've seen in the past month a lot of these retail investors getting in. And like you mentioned, if you look at some of these blockchain names, not necessarily not necessarily Bitcoin, but names like Marathon Patent, which is a crypto mining company, another company called Future Fintech. There's one called SOS Limited uh, that does cryptocurrency and some sort of mining. And it's a tech company. But all of these these companies last week, A, rallied big time. You saw them up double digits. And according to Apex Clearing, those were three of the top five most traded names among retail investors. So you can see similar to 2017 yeah. when we saw names like Overstock.com, which rebranded itself as sort of a crypto company versus an e-commerce company. That stock in 2017 yeah. really traded right alongside Bitcoin. And you had names like Long Island Blockchain, if you remember that, when they changed their name from an iced tea company to a blockchain company. So some of that same exuberance here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.